Hi everyone, I'm Michael Gislati from Halle Institute of Economic Research and in this video I'm talking about word embeddings and geometric deep learning for social network analysis. First, let me thank you uh, the user organizers for uh, setting up the conference online despite the coronavirus crisis. Uh, so let's get in. First, uh, just an overview of what I'm going to, going to talk about, background, model, Then, uh, now the background is uh, word embeddings, as we know, it's a representation of word as vectors in a highly dimensional space. As an application, uh, Kozlowski and the uh, authors have done something recently, two years ago. Uh, my uh, extension is primarily focused on social network analysis, but it can also be extended to other fields. Uh, the interesting part is that some features of the social networks uh, for instance, AXA, hashtags or association, rule, association rules are uh, and, the next, necro, ne, and the network structure of users are not fully flooded. And this is what I'm trying to fill. Hang up, I'm trying to fill with uh, use new project. And uh, for so let's give you uh, an overview of the model. Uh, the model has as inputs large amounts of text, users tags, likes, and friendships of follows, depending on the social networks. And from these in inputs, three parts are developed. Uh, first, a uh, neural network word embeddings, which is something uh, not new. Uh, then a hierarchical structure of interests and categories, uh, hierarchical in the sense that there is a sort of hierarchy uh, on uh, the uh, words. Uh, then a social network structure uh, of friendship, uh, and interests. And uh, then this, the second and the second and third part are combining to create a science. This it's a new idea that gives the idea, uh, give the uh, idea of diffusion and frequency of a word in a space. Uh, by combining all those parts, we get to the model. Um, and the model currents are two functions, one for word and the other for users. Model output is a projection of words and their salience and a network of users in a unique word embedded space. This is uh, what is really new in my project. Uh, here we can have an overview of um, the, uh, the model in a, in a nutshell. Um, now, uh, 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 in addition to what I said, uh, also two additional function uh, enter into the model, one for filtering and the other for mapping. Uh, to map, in particular, to map the users into the uh, into the word embedded space. Um, uh, in the first try, we'll use not to back from Python using uh, the library Reticulate from uh, R. And at the end, uh, the output will be a, a word embedding space with salience, this new feature, and network of, of users uh, in the same space. This is the, the novelty. Uh, and the model could be applied dynamically to evaluate the evolution of structure of words and users over time. Uh, also, I'm thinking about application on Facebook. Uh, of course, there will be a limited sample and Twitter. Uh, and also, it will be interesting to compare uh, the so to social networks. And also, I'm thinking about, um, as an economist, as an uh, application involving the European Central Bank Speeches Database, analyze the evolution of the economic culture, so words and central banker policy makers, uh, uh, in this case, will be the users in the last 20 years. So thank you very much. Uh, there is a GitHub depository. Uh, uh, now at the moment is uh, closed. It's private, but will be open uh, in September. Uh, and uh, thank you very much. And uh, please write me if you have any questions.